What's up, everybody? How you doing? Okay. <laughs> this should be fun. Uh, as per the title, the last cooking stream that she did, I did not cover it, but I was watching it, <clears throat> excuse me, and at one point, she gets up to grab something out of the refrigerator, and we notice that she's basic, well, she is naked from the waist down, so that was fun um, and uh, traumatizing. <clears throat> so anyway, it made me think about all the other cooking streams that she's done and wondered, is she also naked from the waist down cooking <laughs> in the past as well? That should be fun. So anyway, we're going to watch this. It's going to go live uh, any minute now. And uh, just quick, some quick notes. Um, Jules will be joining me later um, when she gets home from work. And when she does, we're going to go over something really quick with Hannah Stout. Um, I don't make videos about her. I don't talk about her. I don't think about her. But she's continuously bringing my name up, bringing Jules' name up. And she posted a quick video today bringing our names up again. This time she called me a floating piece of bread, which I thought was so adorable. So adorable, which is why my name right now is floating piece of bread. And one of the things that she said in that video is that she's never talked smack, her words, she's never talked smack about Shani. So I thought, you know, since she accused me of making claims and never showing receipts, um, I thought I would do just that. So um, I hope she's watching because I don't say things without having receipts. So sucks to be you. So anyway, that'll be later. But uh, right now we're just kind of waiting for Shani to go live. Um, did you guys see the, the pantless <laughs> cooking show the other day? What did y'all think about that? Crude AF says, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, me too. You know, it's weird because I was just sort of going over in my head wondering why she would cook on a live stream <laughs> on YouTube without pants. I just, that's never something that ever crossed my mind. Like, did she think she was not going to get caught? <laughs> I guess she thought that she was like in that uh, office chair that no one would see her, but RIP that chair. Wow. <clears throat> Little Miss Cindy says, I just wonder, I'm just wondering if she is pantless around her boys. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but she was in the kitchen. So it's not like she was in her bedroom. <laughs> which is really, I, I don't even know what to say to that. That kind of caught me off guard. Like I know she's a Lowell's cow, but that was, that was a bit much, uh, even for me. So that was, that was a little weird. <clears throat> Wiser ramblings and views for a $5 super chat says starting a group therapy fund for anyone that watches Shani's videos. <laughs> yeah, I think we may need to start that. Somebody's saying someone paid her to do it. Oh, really? Because I was under the impression that someone paid her, I think it was $125 for her light bill. Um, and they were asking her to record a video of her and Rev being intimate and sending that to them. I didn't realize that the payment was for her to cook naked on, on, on YouTube because I don't think she realized that she could lose her monetization for that. It doesn't take much. <clears throat> Danger says no pants or nude leggings. Either way, no one wants to see that. Yeah, unfortunately, it was not nude leggings because I thought, is my, in my eyes playing tricks on me? But when you actually go and pay attention, she has no pants on. It's actually her second stomach, her fupa. Uh, at the bottom is kind of hanging down, thankfully, and covering all of her uh, her bits. So that's, I, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for her fupa. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Crude AF says she can lose her channel. Yes. Yes, she can. <laughs> she can absolutely lose her channel by doing that. 
<clears throat> Offline says Shani graduated from the Von Helton School of Hygiene. Apparently so, along with the cooking school and the non-cleaning school as well. Little Miss Cindy, I can't imagine not wearing pants around my kids. Me either. And she's got two boys, one who's 14, one who's 11. So I just, I don't understand what made her think that sitting in an office chair at our stove in the kitchen with no pants on was a, like a good idea. <laughs> like, I don't understand that. <laughs> um, Harper Meadows, how much did she get paid today? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, she claimed that she got revenue check. Um, I hope she realizes that she only keeps 70% and then they take out taxes as well. Um, so you don't actually get everything that you think you do. Um, <clears throat> either way, that's certainly not going to pay the $15,000 that they're behind in rent. That's They're not ever going to make enough on YouTube to ever cover that. So either way, they, they need to move. The Mud Brucker Super Chat for $2. Gunt over thighs. Thank God for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because um, when she first stood up and I was like, oh, oh, how much am I going to see? <laughs> I don't want to see anymore. I was very thankful that... Um, it covered. <clears throat> Naughty Rudolph says about 600 bucks. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Cause what, what you get paid on the 21st, right. You know, today is what you made last month. So it's always like a month behind. Um, she hasn't really made as much this month. So next month's check for her is going to be a lot lower. Um, that could explain why they're getting high all of a sudden. They probably spent some of that money to buy weed, to be honest with you. Um, let's see. Um, in the meantime, um, I don't know if you guys saw the stream earlier today where she was. Uh, I mean, I would play. I thought about playing some of it, but, but she uses homophobic slurs. Uh, she's using ra uh, her and Rev are using racial slurs. They're talking about all kinds of things that I I don't want to lose my monetization, so I'm not going to play those. But it was crazy. And what it seems like she's doing is that she doesn't want to lose monetization on this channel, but she'll go to her stoner Shani channel instead and, I guess, say the crazy stuff, thinking that no one's going to know that that's her. <laughs> <clears throat> Quasi monkey, OMG, it's not weed, it's medicine. Yeah, she claims it's medicine, but the thing is, is that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, weed is not supposed to be used to uh, cover severe pain. They make like CBD lotions and creams and stuff, um, but it doesn't, doesn't actually get rid of severe pain. Like there's a lot of people in this community that have, that actually have fibromyalgia and uh, disc and back issues and all kinds of uh, very cro like chronic pain that they deal with every day. And they're all telling me we doesn't take care of that pain. So she just wants to get high and there's nothing wrong with that, but I just don't understand why she's got to lie about it. Like you want to get high, say you want to get high. Don't claim it's your medicine that takes care of some imaginary pain that you won't even go to the doctor and, and formally diagnose. Catch me if you can. I know a lot of states were, weren't were kicking people out because of COVID because that's ending, so they should be getting evicted any day. Yes, yeah, so the moratorium, uh, the COVID moratorium in their state ends June 30th. So they've already explained that they have gotten a letter from the rental office giving them a deadline to pay all of their back rent or at least a portion of it, and they, they don't have the money for that. Um, so instead of doing the adult thing, and that is to move out, downsize, both of them get jobs, um, you know, all of those things down, you know, getting rid of extra expenditures and things like that. Instead, they're just playing video games and doing these cooking shows in an apartment that they can't afford. 
And so what's going to happen June 30th, probably, you know, uh, the rental office is going to show up um, and try to get in and Jason's not going to answer the door. And so they're probably going to have to get the police to escort them in. And then that's going to be really interesting because more than likely that was my dog, um, my dog sneezing. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> But yeah, the, the rental office is going to probably have to sue them, not just for rent, but for all the damages and everything else. And so it's just, it's, it's going to be a mess. And I feel bad only for the kids because Shannon and Rev, they deserve everything that they're going to get. The kids don't deserve this. So I hope that at one point, you know, the kids could find some stability, you know, whatever that looks like. <clears throat> um, let's see. Paper says, I have a condition I'm afraid for her to learn, but even JAMA now has published recognition for it and has worked better for me than a plethora of other things. Yeah, see, the problem with Shani is that she will not go to the doctor. All the things that she is claiming that she has, she doesn't actually know if she has it. I have watched other YouTubers come out and talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, I have asthma and it's like acting up today. But I have heard other YouTubers talking about how, you know, they were going through the process of being diagnosed with MS. And then the second that they have a stream talking about how they have MS, all of a sudden she has MS, right? Um, and so, uh, you know, and then another YouTuber will come out and talk about how they survived cancer and all of a sudden she has cancer. So she just kind of steals everybody else's um, illnesses and, you know, childhood trauma stories. And so, but she won't actually go to the doctor. And I think it's because she knows the doctor's going to tell her she probably has pre-diabetes, high cholesterol, and she needs to lose weight. And I have a feeling that um, if she were to lose weight, she'd probably not have 80% of the things that she claims about, <clears throat> claims to have. So it's just, it's a mess. Um, and it's really sad that she doesn't care enough about herself to actually go to the doctor. Because if she really does have some of these issues, she needs to get the proper medication, the proper uh, whatever she needs to help her feel better and not be in pain all the time. And so to just kind of just get high all the time to cover up something that could easily be fixed with medication or a procedure is just kind of dumb to me. It's just dumb. <clears throat> Freddie McDonald says he got mad at me on a cyberpunk stream. I asked if he was practicing driving around looking for employment. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he wants to get a job either. Um, they actually blamed all of you guys. <laughs> for uh, supposedly getting him fired, but he never had a job to begin with. What it was is that he was, he was, had his mind set on working for Uber and Uber would not hire him because of his criminal record and because of their debt. I mean, anybody would have told him that. I mean, he has, he has a reckless driving and a bunch of other things on and a hit run on his record. So of course, Uber's not going to hire him that you don't have to be a genius to figure that one out. <clears throat> but um, I don't know why he won't just go out and go to like Walmart or someplace like that and just get like a $12, $15 an hour job. But I think with Rev, not only does he not want to work, but he thinks all that's beneath him. You know, that's what peasants do. <laughs> peasants drink water and, and work jobs. He does not. Uh TIE Fighter Jet for $10 Super Chat. Coming soon to theaters, Shani and the Fupa Friends, starring Shannon, the Jason Hammer, Dornbush, Hannah, Choke on Marble Stout, and Megan, I totally don't look like the Penguin Hills. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <clears throat> RD says, Rev doesn't want to get a job because Shani will find someone else, just like she did with Chris. Wow, that is a really good point, actually, because when Chris would go to work every day, she was cheating on him with with Rev. So I see why he's kind of nervous to now leave her alone all day while he's working. That makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> 
And a vapor says, oh, the doctors will tell her there's stuff wrong, but it's self-inflicted, need to lose weight, need to pull the rest of the rotten teeth exercise, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I tend to agree with you. Um, a lot of the things that she complains about um, are because of someone who's 400 to 500 pounds. I mean, she needs to kind of be real about that and stop claiming that she's 200 pounds. I mean, that's that's just not true. Um, <laughs> there's no there's no one that believes that but her and Rev. Crude AF, I bet she's watching this and won't go live. That would be funny. That's fine by me because I'll just play some of her stuff that she did yesterday or today. Either way, I'm going to stream. So if you're watching, Shani, I don't know. Sorry about your luck, hater. Rev looks like a goblin. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So... So I guess we'll just move on to something else. Uh, not a problem. Um, I will remove me from screen. <clears throat> so we will just watch something else. Um, we can go back to, <laughs> we can go back to the cooking show that she did yesterday. Um, and again, I think it was because she was so high, she didn't even like realize what she was doing. Let's see. Okay. So we can watch a little bit of this and see if we can, um, for those of you that haven't seen it, <laughs> I'll just traumatize you again. Paint that on. Let me know if you guys can hear it okay. Cheese. Praise Jesus. Yes. We got some mozzarella in that stuff too. Okay. Next step. You got the pepperonis. Place that on the pizza. This has not been opened too. It's fresh. It's a fresh bag of pepperoni. He, he, my husband's already getting hungry just hearing me. Uh -huh. Open up. There we go. There we go. If you guys happen to know um, turkey pepperoni where the where the, the timestamp is. You know, you don't want to be stingy. It's like two on each side. I think it was when she got the green beans out. Like 17 per 17 oh, there's the green beans. Are a serving size. How hmm. many are in this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not even a serving size of pepperoni you have to put on this. See? You can get a lot of pepperoni for. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Brace yourself. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Brace yourself. <laughs> I was only put in there for a few seconds. <laughs> Can you turn up Chancer? Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see. Just a little bit. Okay. I turned it up. Thank you for the suggestion. I appreciate that. Is that better? These are like kind of sweet, kind of like um, sweet pickles, kind of, kind of. They're mm -hmm. really good. You've never had pickled anything. You should try it. The vinegar is actually good for your stomach. Uh -huh. Um. And beets are really good for you. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what does this have? Beets, cider vinegar, water, onion, lemon juice, brown sugar, ginger, rosemary, allspice, cinnamon sticks, and cloves. That's all. That's the only ingredients. It's so healthy. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Mm. You want to try these? Oh, I want them. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. Crash asked, do you think she was paid to do that? I don't think so. Uh, I think that she just doesn't wear underwear. There have been many times where she gets up and you see her butt because she's not wearing underwear. Um, she talked about today that she wasn't wearing any underwear in the stream that she did on Stoner Shanny. I don't know if she just can't fit into un underwear anymore or she just doesn't want to wear them. But there's an awful lot of times where she's not wearing underwear. Uh, I didn't think that she wasn't going to be wearing pants as well. <laughs> That's a new one. Um, but again, I don't think that she was paid to do that. I think she was just so high. She wasn't paying attention. Oh. Oh, my God. I know. I love beets. Mm. They're so good for you. You can, like, slaughter that jar. Oh, God. They spice them so nice. What is in the... Oh, it's the potassium level. Mm -hmm. That's what... Potassium is much needed in the body. Mmm. Essential. Could I try these beans, too? Hell, yeah. Cooking oh, on weed makes the best good. food. Ooh. Rev is getting better. Yeah, feeling better. My grandma would pickled eggs with pickled beets there as there there was a big purple egg jar every Easter. That's so cute. I love that idea. Rick's picks is amazing. Yeah, man. Mm. Rick's picks. Yeah, and you don't need the serving size either. Mm -mm. That's what I love about pickle stuff is like wow. they give a serving size, but it's like you can't eat the serving size. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, it's, it's too much. You know what I also think is really gross is that she will she'll touch her hair and then she sticks her nasty fingers in the jar instead of using a fork. <laughs> And then she'll lick her fingers and then she'll touch her camera and then she puts her ha hands in her hair and then she folds her hands and touches the stove. Like it's just, it's so in incredibly disgusting how she won't wash her hands. Uh, I just, <clears throat> and then she closes the jar and puts that back in the fridge. Like somebody else is going to want to eat stuff that she's put her nasty fingers on. TGR, Brian, I wouldn't do that if I lived alone. Yeah, me either. Like, that's just gross. Faith A says, I had to have potassium in an IV while in ICU. It was literal. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Drag not archive. <laughs> they both do. Yeah, they both just constantly <laughs> with their fingers, just constantly. And then you wonder why they're sick all the time. It's like, wash your hands. Stop putting your fingers in your mouth. That's stuff that you tell kids. Don't put your fingers in your mouth. Man, is that good though. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah, the potassium. That makes a dish. Oh. oh. I don't know. Like, you eat potassium and it makes you feel so good. It's like a good pick-me-up. It is. Yep. It's very healthy. Oh. That's why a banana makes you feel good. Yeah, the broiling process is making it better. Yeah, exactly. Edibles will last for hours. Yeah, get well, Tammy. High blood pressure is awful. Oatmeal. Spoil yourself on oatmeal. Yeah, don't get any nutritional uh, advice from Shani or anyone who has who lives like that. It's not a not a not a good idea at all. Um, it looks like she's trying to psych me out. It will not work, bitch. So try again. So we will just watch something else. In fact, why don't we go to 
Shani. <clears throat> and we will just watch one of the ones that she's done in the last couple of days. Which one would you guys like to watch? Um, we have the G-Man and Miss Parker one where she gets super racist. Um, there's one where she punched her computer. I think it's um, the ending of this where she punches that. We can watch that. She gets really up, angry. I'm currently watching Pink Fairy. So that's what you're seeing me do. I need to make myself a bowl. I know my bond is dirty. I really don't care. I really don't care. You know, I am grateful for what I'm, what I am. And I am very grateful of what I'm accomplishing, even though I'm highly against all odds. Yeah. Bon, <laughs> you know, and I'm certainly not going to quit YouTube. If the ad revenue I'm getting for YouTube is paying my cell phone and my power bill. Okay. So I don't believe that for a second. Um, I don't know if she means her super chat money or her cash app money, but ad revenue on YouTube does not, you don't make very much. Like it's pennies. Even people that I know that have, you know, 5,000 or 10,000 sub channel that get the views that are relative to that, they're not making but maybe 20 bucks. I think my um, ad revenue is, is like 50 cents. Like it's not very much. So, oh, is she live? Excellent. All right. Thank you for telling me, you guys. <clears throat> Guess she's just late. She's late a lot. <laughs> okay. Fun times. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Here we go, guys. There we go. But this is, let me go, put this on 425 to set the oven for 425. I just want to get some French fries real quick. I love how there's like stuff knocked over everywhere and like she doesn't even doesn't she doesn't pick it up and then the whipped cream that probably should be in the refrigerator they just just leave it out. <laughs> I just love how they just leave just shit everywhere on the stove. This is a glass stovetop that she's banging on, by the way. <laughs> Aries 106, thank you for streaming live, Shannon. You are so welcome. Uh, she bans literally everybody. So I don't think that's fair. So you guys say what you ever you want. Uh, you can call me stupid. You can say that I'm not funny. Uh, just as long as you're not doxing people and you're not getting racist, you know, go at it. Break up. French fries are frozen upon each other. They're like, no, we don't want to do French fries. Not today. Dragna Archive asks, when the sheriff comes to evict them, are they going to have to open the door for them? Um, I don't know all the rules. I'm not a cop or anything like that. So I don't know. But at some point, the rental office is going to need to get in there and take a look at the place so they know how much damage there is before they can put it back on the market for rent again. And I have seen I have seen shows where they have a police officer escort them. And at that point, once the eviction is final, 
they they can come in because it's their property. Shane and Rev do not own that property. Hey, motherfucker, not today. And I'm like, yes, you are queen. You like it or not. Yeah, I don't think she has spray for that, Faith. She says, I use aluminum foil, then Pam spray. She doesn't do any of those things. Oh, I'm so glad she's wearing a dress today, folks. <laughs> oh, boy. So, you know our homemade marinara that I have from yesterday? I'm just going to put this on here. We're going to make some pizza fries. What? So, let me show you real quick. That's not homemade marinara. That's Bertoli. She bought that. It's out of a jar. So you put the marinara on the fries. And this is how you make some delicious pizza fries. Just trying to get rid of some things. Tell you the truth. We got the pepperoni. So we're going to put that on too. What? I thought it's supposed to be spaghetti pizza. I am so confused right now. You've never seen pizza fries before? You should try it. It's a good way how to have like a pizza type experience, but like gluten free because fries have no gluten in it. Thank you. I hear something burning. So what I'm is just that? I'm going to put the rest of the pepperoni on here. Thank you, Ling Ting. Thank you. I have never seen this before. Now we want to put some parm on. What? Jeez. These are so fun. Sprinkle some garlic on. Oh my gosh. Some onion powder. Flavor Town. <laughs> Let's get some oregano on the fries too. Oh, she said oregano good <laughs> the the right way this time. Wow. I I I don't know if she's trolling crude AF. Uh I don't think she is. I don't think she is. That's so fun. And then on each corner I'm gonna put a chick patty. I want to have some chicken flavor today. I'll cut them up Mag after it's done cooking. Magulator one, always the same ingredients, just about every meal. Yes, that's actually a good point. It's the same ingredients that she puts on every single meal. I, and that, is that, are those frozen patties? What? Like so. And then I got some sharp cheddar. What? I'm just going to take a couple slices of that on. She's going to put sliced cheese on it, folks. I have the Sargento <laughs> sharp cheddar right here. What? In slice form. So I'm just going to put a few <laughs> slices of the Sargento. on the fries so we get that nice sharp cheddar taste guess who have you noticed rick is sick from eating her garbage yeah he has gotten sick every day since she started these streams there we go every day should have lift up the chick patties then fold it in half boop i don't boop. i don't understand what this is supposed to that's be that's gonna be some delicious pizza fries now, I have a little baby Swiss here, so I want to put a little bit, not so much, but just a wee bit. 
Faith A says those ingredients cook at different temps and times. I know. Yeah, that's right. I don't, I honestly was not expecting this because she's supposed to be making spaghetti pizza. So your guess is as good as mine. A baby Swiss also. As you can see, that's Argento baby Swiss slices. I'm going to put that on to the pizza fries. Do I hear a husband? No, I don't hear a husband. Never mind. I'm going to tear it in half and put it in these middle slice parts right here. There we go. There we go. That is pizza fries, folks. And then we put it in the oven until the cheese is all melted and the fries are all done up. Should take about 20, 30 minutes in an oven of 425. Uh, it's really easy. She's not going to set a timer. Your fries soft in this dish. Kind of gives it a pizza taste. She's got to have that Dr. Pepper. Got to have the Dr. Pepper. All right. Next step. We're going to put this bird's eye cheesy broccoli in the fridge for six minutes. In the fridge? Oh, she means a microwave. Okay. Turn on our thing. Now, we need to make an egg custard. So in order to make an egg custard, because this is this is it, there's like literally for my spaghetti pizza, it's three ingredients. Okay, other than the oil you put in the pan. Charlie Sparkle, she's dressed like a fat yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. That's really funny. It's spaghetti, it's eggs, and it's salt. So, you want to use about five eggs. This is my mom's recipe, okay? I've been having this since I was a little girl. This is like a nice snack or a midnight a midnight snack. It's cheap, it's affordable, and you don't even need to use five eggs. I just do it because I like that. Yeah, uh, five eggs is a midnight snack, folks. That's that's a snack at midnight. You can even do this with two eggs, even. So, I got the Eglin's Best Eggs, because those are nice. So, just crack it in the pan, as you will. I need my bag. Catch me if you can. What is she making now? Um, an, an egg custard is what she called it for spaghetti pizza. And in the oven is a tray of frozen crinkle fries, I guess to go with her crinkle heart, and some chick patties, uh, sliced um, Swiss cheese, and sliced American cheese or sharp cheddar cheese, and then a half a bottle of Bertoli marinara sauce. What in the world? The one-handed technique. Only skilled egg crackers will learn how to do this. All right. Got that? Check. Wash hands. Check. Now, do y'all think that she actually washed her hands? 
Really? Uh, doubt it. You can add some salt and pepper in here if you want to. You can add onion powder and garlic if you want to, or you could just make it simple, like just eggs and scramble them up. I'm still currently waiting on the boil, boiling of the water. <laughs> Go boil. Boil away water. I think uh, Vlad Tepe says, I think she got them wet but didn't wash them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, there was definitely not soap involved in, in that rinsing. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Himalayan sea salt in here. Now, use Himalayan sea salt, okay? It's got very good, like, nutrients within this. It's very heart healthy. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of black pepper in this. Hi, Blaze in the Desert. Glad you could make it. And then you whisk it. Yeah, that was too much salt. You can even add Parmesan to this mixture if you want to. Danger asks, why is the whipped cream out without a top on? You know, watching her cooking streams is like one of those like kid games where you have to find the missing items. That's what her kitchen is. There's always some some new thing that you discover that's out of place. <laughs> There's a lot of things out of place in in this uh, in this cooking show. But the simple one is just eggs and salt and spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hear a husband. Hi, buddy. And now we wait. Sorry about that. Well, if someone wants to give him eight bucks for cigarettes, please let him know he's getting grumpy. So now they're e-begging for cigs again. Nice. So uh, she just bragged about getting $600 revenue check from YouTube. And they don't have eight bucks. Uh, that doesn't add up. Nail polish is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's saying, how are you? All right. He's doing good, folks. They're giving you a hard time, hon. Okay, great. Thanks. Yep. Thanks a lot. Like, thanks, guys. You're welcome. Gorgeous eyeshadow. Thank you, Goth Unicorn. For the people that do give your awesome thanks. Exactly. Exactly. Ooh, baby Swiss. I love cheese. Oh. I love cheese. I love cheese. Yes, I do. Oh. Stab me in the eyeball. Baby Swiss is delicious. I swear to God, it took forever for my stove to boil water. I have the lid on and I even have it on to 10. Well, my car died. Uh, Broccoli is done. That's a good thing. She just put the hot broccoli on top of the cheese packets. 
Mm. This just keeps getting better and better. Because I love that. For tomorrow what to make or to make it now amber m look at these vegetarians go i know right don't just love it mm. and they they can't eat gluten or meat but look at what they cook and eat every day have to wait are you almost done spaghetti you're boring the fuck out of people Wow, why do people? Oh no, you're in the doghouse. Do I dye my own hair? Yeah, but this is I didn't I didn't I didn't dye it yet. I want to. Blaze in the desert for a three dollar super sticker. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Gaz Begotten says, have you noticed that she is getting more wider or is it just me? I mean, if you look at pictures of her just back from 2019, she has clearly gained weight, a considerable amount of weight. So, I mean, I don't know why she says that she's lost weight. Maybe she's lost five pounds from what she was a month ago. I don't know, but she's clearly bigger than she was before. It just looks more vibrant, I guess, today, man. Green looks amazing on me. Thank you, Lean Chain. You love the messy hair look? Thank you. I love my messy hair look. It's what I am, man. I always had messy looking hair. I like it. It's wild. It's who I Wes Bailey, my friend is 38. She's been a caretaker her whole life, lived a healthy lifestyle. She's dying of cancer. Can you imagine the rage I feel when I see people like Shani out living my friend? Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm really sorry about your friend, by the way. Um, I mean, I've had people in my life die, uh, of things that it just, it, it's, it is very frustrating, but, um, I think that what you're seeing now with Shannon and Rev, this is kind of, um, their last stand, <laughs> if you will. Um, things are catching up. He's sick all the time. She can barely walk. Uh, I, I honestly believe that, you know, the shit's going to hit the fan and I guess we're going to be watching it on a live stream. Uh, Wes Bailey didn't mean to burn you out. Oh, bum you out. Just was making a point. So unfair and frustrating. No, you didn't bum me out. No, I, I appreciate, um, I appreciate your comment. Um, but it's true. I mean, it's, it's frustrating to see her, uh, continue to pretend like everything's okay. But like I said, I think that the next couple of months is going to be a lot harder for them than they are realizing right now.
The Cinched Ways. Thank you, Whack Attack. Tell us the story of you and Rev meeting, or the moment, oh God, the moment you realized he was the one you fell in love. <laughs> she was, she has claimed my lap. Help. No, stay there. Give your girl a kiss. That's right. Do it. Yeah. Oh. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna show you something. Catch me if you can. Are people really thinking about this? Are people really taking this mill seriously in her chat? No, they're not. 99% of the people in her chat are trolls. There are a few people here and there that kind of enable her from time to time. Other people, who knows why they're there. But there's a lot of trolls in her chat, and she just doesn't realize it. All right. I want to make something for you guys. Kind of like a dessert. Well, it is a dessert. Oh, here she goes, improvising. Last time, she was supposed to use sour cream, but instead she used cream cheese and in her taco. So this should be fun, where she uh, starts to make something that's kind of edible, and she adds so much shit to it that it becomes uh, a lump in Rev's bowels. I think I stepped on some glass. No. Ow. Yeah, it's a little teeny peeny pit place. Okay. Now. Crystal Water is heretic in the hills of troll. I have no idea. Um, either way, the fact that she's still in there um, doing this after the domestic violence uh, stream that they did, just my opinion, my personal opinion. Um, at what point does her gassing Shani up after that uh, cross over into enabling? I'm just saying. Tata Jedi for a $5 super chat. Man after Rock of Love. Brett fell on hard times. <laughs> Quick update. Rev is still poor. Hey, Rev, remember not eating poisoned food? Ha, ha, ha. You are poor, Rev. Thank you very much, Tata Jedi. Yes, indeed. He is poor. This is a recipe that I just pretty much eyeball for people, okay? But I'll try to be accurate on set ingredients for you guys. And it requires some cherry pie filling. Uh oh. That's what it requires some cherry, ch cherry pie filling. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. So, you need about, this is a, a dump and pump type of dessert, okay? A dump and pump type of dessert. What? I need about maybe a cup of sugar. Right? I mean, let's just not measure it. Because, you know, when you bake things, who needs to measure? Right? And then you take about a quarter cup of oil, right? Blue asked, by the way, what is going to happen with Hannah Stout? Uh, you will have to find out when Jules joins the stream. We're going to uh, have a little chat, so uh, show us some receipts, because apparently Hannah 
claims that I just kind of make claims that I don't ever have proof for it. Um, kind of do on my channel and I'm getting really tired of her putting my name in her mouth. So we're going to have a fun little game where we play her video where she's lying and then I show receipts to prove that she's lying. It's going to be fun. Stick around for that. With a little bit of Madagascar. Oh, oh. <gasps> Vanilla extract. Put that, that was, in there. That was too much vanilla. We got some baking soda. We got some. What the fucking hell? <laughs> <laughs> my 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 grip beer. Anyway, my grip. Yes. All right. Well, I got baking soda all over my stuff. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Got the sugar. We got the oil. What you do is you just kind of cream it together. Uh, notice it's not on a burner. It's on a, a cutting board. And the cutting board is on the burner. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're basically making a white brownie base. And I've been pretty much making this since I was nine years old. So, and I've pretty much made this up, this recipe myself. No, you're just messing. You're, you're making it up as you go along right now. TGR Brian for a $5 super chat. How does your name fit in Hannah's mouth with all the marbles in there? You know, I have no idea. I guess I'm really talented. Throughout the years. You take a pinch of baking soda, put that in. Take a pinch of the uh, baking powder, actually two pinches, Now nah, three. Three of the baking powder, you put that in, okay? You take a little bit of salt, you put that in, right? Let's mix that up real quick. It should look like that. You can also take butter and do it the same with butter. But I don't got any butter. All I got is precious oil for you. So, okay. Next thing. Eggs. Yes. Take two. Quasi monkey, why do we have to wait for Jules to show up when you're the same person? <laughs> Very funny, Quasi Monkey. Eggs. Oh, look, it's Jason in the chat with his very professional name of Big PP Weezo 42710. Take two eggs, put them in the pot, right? Mix that in until it's like lighter. That is pretty much your base to your brownies, your white brownies, right? You see that? Isn't that lovely? Now, that's empty. You take about two cups of flour and you put that in there. And you got a white brownie base. Oh, Rotten Ralph, I am so sorry. On her chat, I was scrolling in here. Yeah, I meant in her chat. That's why I leave the full screen up so that you guys can see the live chat too. No, he, for some reason, has this other account called Big PP Weezo 420. I don't, I don't know if he's trying to be funny. It's not funny, but yeah, it's, it's her chat that I was talking about. Nice. So a cup is pretty much a handful. That's pretty much a cup. What? Is a handful. No, that's more than a cup. 
You're just looking for a particular consistency. Who says you need measuring cups when you can do it this way, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, honey, I want you to taste this dough for me and tell me how does it taste. It yeah, uh, somebody who's had stomach issues and bowel issues for like five days straight, have them eat something with raw dough, raw eggs, and God knows whatever else was on your hands. Yes, please come and eat this. It'll taste exactly like sugar cookies. Sugar cookie dough. All right, try this. Don't let your kids eat this. It's got eggs in it. <laughs> try that. All right. Mm. And he did not just stick his finger in there. Oh my God. See? I eat that whole thing. And she sticks her finger in there, of course. Wow. I've been making that base since I was like nine. So nine. Not true. So. Wow. Oh, it looks like we can put the spaghetti in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the spaghetti in. I'm gonna use two pounds, of course. Two pounds? Of spaghetti. That over there. Back to our brownie base. Now, we need oil in these cups. Thank you, heretic. You don't need measuring cups when you know. Exactly. Almost 30 years I've been making this. Oh, no. Ugh. So. This is going to trigger some of y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. I don't need to know. <laughs> she uses her hands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is for one meal, supposedly. Oh, yeah, those are getting good. You want to smell the pizza fries? Jason, you want to smell the pizza fries? Pizza fries? I, yeah. I have pizza fries in there. And you put it in your muffin tin. Let me get this. I need a spoon. Smell of the pizza fries. Oh, yeah. Smell that. Oh, my God. Oh, oh what? Pizza fries? Pizza fries. God, they look good. They smell like Pringles. I doubt that very much. That's what they smell like, pizza Pringles. So you just fill it halfway into your muffin tin, like so. Like I said, this is a white brownie dough, okay? You can have these little cakes for breakfast. You can have them for dessert. You can have them with some ice cream. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people notice that he's wearing the same Superman shirt for the last four days. Yep. He wears, he's like Vaughn. He is like a younger version of Vaughn. He just wears the same stuff over and over and over again. Looks like it makes nine. 
<gasps> Blaze in the desert. You are so right. She was touching her feet and didn't wash her hands before she did that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh. Gross. And I mean, Jesus, I can't count. Ten. That's so good. Now, you take your cherry pie filling and you put it on there. Yeah, you can drop a, a chunk of cream cheese in that and kind of make like a cheesecake type of filling to it. Cover that a little bit more with the cherry goodness. These are so good. These are so good. Flavor Town. Guys, like. Mm. This actually is a, a dad wrap recipe. This is something my dad made. Like, usually early in the morning, he'd make this for us. And notice how the story is changing now. First, she said that she came up with the with the uh, recipe at nine years old. Then she said this was what her mother made her all the time. And now she's saying this was her dad's recipe. Sure. The brownie mix, though, is mine. He, he, he made, used, you know, a recipe for the white brownie. I just remembered it since I was like a little girl. Um, it's actually a recipe, I think, from a Betty Betty Crocker cookbook, actually. But I made it made this so many fucking times. And she's licking her fingers. Let's see if she touches the food again. Cherry pie filling's the best. And you just put that in the oven until the batter's done. You should know when it's done. It'll be delicious. Trust me. So now she's cooking it with the, quote, pizza fries. Got it. All right. Back to the pasta. Oh. It's like spilling out. <laughs> Twisted skeptic for 199 super chat. Rev is heading to Flavor Town, then hopefully the ER. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly think that he should go to the doctor because there's a lot of people that have been DMing me about what he could have. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to diagnose anyone, but it's clear that there's something really serious going on with him. And I don't understand why he just won't go. It, I, I don't get it. So we want to get the pasta all the way cooked to its like standards. Her fupa is adjusting the temperature. <laughs> oh boy. I, ooh, sorry. Um, let's see. There. Oh. Yikes. No. Place on where the pasta needs to be cooked. It should be like five minutes from now. But I showed you how to make a quick dessert for your family. That's really easy. And it's something I love for my family. So. Let's go back to the audience. How you guys doing? Yum, thank you. Torbus04 for a $50 super chat. Are you crazy? Wow, thank you so much. 
Um, she says, you'll go to jail again if you're caught with your fupa and big backside hanging out in your new home under a bridge, Shani. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're very generous. That's very sweet. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Thank you, baby. Oh, we got Christina Blackfeather in here. I made muffins too, the Kodiak cakes kind. Oh. And Troy looks 85 pounds. Oh, bless you. D Higgins for a 1999 super chat. Digging the channel, Burnt Toast. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Hope you guys are being entertained. <laughs> bless you so much, Christina. You can do it. Do a recipe incorporating talkies? I will. I do have PTSD along with BPD. Um, how come I never shared my skills before? I didn't think about it, to tell you the truth. I should have. I kind of regret that I didn't. Kitty Kane at Burntos. Yes, nine years old. I thought it was her Italian grandmother that taught her to cook. Then she said it was her abusive mother. Oh, and now she's still claiming to be native. She makes me sick. Yeah, I mean, you can't believe anything that comes out of her mouth. The truth is her mother is Italian and Irish. So, you know, she does have an Italian, a full Italian grandparent. But why she starts claiming all these other things, uh, she's a culture vulture. Uh, once you wean off the estrogen, yeah, you'll probably lose weight after that. You probably won't be as hungry as you are, you know. I actually am dealing with my, my, my menopause or perimenopause right now. Um, I'm actually dealing with it naturally, I guess. Um, tofu helps you, like tofu-based foods or or edamame. Like anything with soy really helps with your estrogen levels. Actually, that's not true. If you have uh, thyroid issues, if you have um, hormone issues, soy is what you should be avoiding. My mother has a lot of thyroid issues, and she ended up having to have surgery um, because of that and takes medication. Soy is terrible for your thyroid. So please, please don't take my word for it. Please don't listen to her. Go see your doctor. Do not take any medical advice from this person. I should call my recipe books flavor time. Flavor time. Yeah, that would be cool. Flavor town. But, um, does Rev still need those cigarettes? Yeah. Yes, he does, the poor little baby. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> the person in the chat, uh, Shani's Free Teeth. Uh, excellent name, whoever you are. Well done. I love you. Individuals. I eat a lot of tofu, but I have no uterus and ovaries. Kind of shoves you in menopause fast. Yeah. The heat flashes are the worst. A lot of people look at me and they're like, how old am I? I'm 30. I'm going to be 38 in August. A lot of people say that you're not old enough to have perimenopause. And it's like, I'm going to be 38. It's normal. Most, a lot of women go through it. My mom did. She started going through it at my age. Oh, I love the spagat. Looking delicious. Thank you. Oh. I'm so excited for this food. What day in August? The 27th. Some females have menopause in their teens. Yeah, I've heard that. 
If you notice, she's not even paying attention to the pot of boiling water that keeps splashing over and burning on the burner. Yeah, that's that's rare though, man. Oh God, you scared me with that. I don't want to hit 30s. It sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter with you? 50s the average age, but what? Butane. Yes. My hubby's a happy boy. I love you. I love you. You're a beautiful girl. I love you. I love you. I love you. Well, what grows really like. He's like, Mommy, hurry up and fix dinner. I'm hungry, Mommy. What grows really a lot in, in you could do wraps. Come on. That grows a lot in Minnesota, the wraps or uh, rhubarb. Rhubarb grows grow, grows uh, naturally there in Minnesota. It's like you have a sixth sense for cooking, Shinny. Amazing recipes. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> 70 is the new 40. Oh, she's kneading her dough. She's making some bread, man. I don't have rhubarb. I'm thinking something like creepy, creeping Charlie. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> when you're 30, you realize how much of a child you were at 22. Yeah, you do. You do. Faith A says, lifestyle and weight can affect menopause. I have endometriosis, so I have to be careful. Yeah. I mean, I've watched that, um, what is that, 600-pound life show a couple times, and um, it's fascinating. And one of the things that they were talking about is that when in, in women, when your body hits a certain weight, and I think it's different for every woman, but when you gain a certain amount, like your body just kind of starts shutting down. And you will stop having periods because you're so big. So I don't know if that's going on or what, but I wish I would not be talking about this right now because it's really gross. So sorry about that. She overshares a lot. I really wish I had that energy, though, that I did. Now, when I throw my spaghetti actually um, in the strainer, I'm gonna have to uh, cool it down. So I'm gonna put a bunch of cold water on it while I strain. So remember that little technique. You need to cool down pasta. Mm. She doesn't eat gluten. It's almost done. Yeah, she doesn't eat gluten, guys. She's allergic to gluten. She definitely doesn't eat bread and she doesn't eat pasta. She just goes for the vegetables. Oh, I'm wanting to make some cinnamon rolls. I got a great recipe for cinnamon rolls. Have I done a video to ever explain the tattoos I have? Well, it's only three tattoos that I have, but yeah, I'll do a video on that. I found some incredible recipes for, clo for clover. Oh my God, Christina, I would love to see that. Would you get more tattoos? Yeah, I have some plans for more tattoos in the future. Oh. The spaghetti is almost done. Spaghetti. Yes. Spaghetti. The spaghetti is almost done. Spaghetti. I'm in too. That's awesome. Hello, Margo. How are you? How are you doing? Oh my God, so good. Mm. Sticking her dirty fingers.
in another jar of food. Mm. On my hand, I want to put a blue rose. Yeah, uh, like Dragon King in the chat says, you have to have money for a tattoo. Yep, you have no money, Shani. How are you going to pay for a tattoo? That's the big one I want to get. I should get one of cheese. Another one on the side of my cab. I want to get a chubby unicorn. I also want to get a bunch of Bible verses on me. You could literally put the entire Bible on you. It's a lot I want to do with my tattoos. <laughs> and then in between the spaces of the tattoos, I want this like um, fishnet. That's awesome. Yeah. Ooh. I think that'll look good. Like a fishnet-y like, pattern. I know. Thank you. Let's see. She's just going to eat all. <laughs> see, now I know why she put two whole boxes in there, even though there's just four of them. Because she eats half the noodles before they actually serve the food. Mm. Perfect. Quasi monkey, how do we find this tattoo artist and bribe them to put a fat Yoshi instead of a fat unicorn? Oh, that would be amazing, Quasi monkey. Now remember, you want this cooled down. So, oh no. Is she going to rinse the pasta? Yeah, catch me if you can. No, she's not going to rinse it. Yeah, she's rinsing it right now with cold water. Go figure. You want to make sure there's no hot places to your hands left on it, by the way. Yeah. You want it pretty much lukewarm to cold. Shani's McDonald's Wi-Fi. I don't hear any water. Yeah, I can hear it. Um, it's because she has her fan going above where the camera is sitting. I actually hear the water, and it sounds like she's running it through cold water, and then she's shaking it while that they're while they're in the um, the strainer. That's what it sounds like she's doing right now. A big pot of, of a pasta. There we go. Egg mixture. Tons. I want uh, to mix this in. What? To the egg mixture. Again, she has not washed her hands after touching literally everything in that kitchen, including the piece of glass to get out of her foot that she stepped on. Oh.
Oh yeah. This looks beautiful. Yeah, you see that smoke? That's because she left the pan with a little bit of water in it still on the burner. You just want to do a little bit of pasta at a time and just coat it in the egg mixture, okay? By the way, to recap, she has a tray of frozen crinkle fries in the oven covered with a half of jar of Bertoli uh, pizza sauce. She has uh, chick patties on, on top of the crinkle fries and the sauce. And then she put uh, a whole ton of various things that contain salt that was not needed. And then she put slices of Swiss cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. So that's in the oven, right? And then she also made this weird concoction with canned cherries on top. No idea what that's supposed to be. That's also cooking in the same oven right next door. And so now she's supposedly making a uh, spaghetti pizza. Fun times, folks. This is, you know, this is the work of a culinary artist. That's what she is, an artist, folks. There we go. Good. And you can save this pasta for something else, which we're going to do. All right. Now that we have this fully incorporated with the eggs, you, you, you see the consistency of the egg? That looks like snot. I'm just saying it does. Like what? You want it like that. You want to see like little bubbles of the egg on it. Lola Bohemia, what's on the pasta? Yeah, so that's five eggs that she put in a bowl. And I think she put some other random, random crap in it. And then she's uh, putting spaghetti in there. Yeah. That means it's like really good mix. Okay, now put that aside. Can we just take a minute and look at her stovetop? This is what happens when a child is like playing with things in the kitchen. What in the world? So we're not gonna pick up all of the watery mixture that is burning on the burner right now because we can see the smoke. No, we're not gonna wipe that up. We're just gonna slide the frying pan across. Okay, awesome. There we go. Move your pan on here, okay? Get some, put it on high, okay? Put some oil in the pan really simple technique yeah she absolutely ruined this stove like if you watch this stream that i did the last stream that i did before this watch that stream because she's actually burning plastic on there it was a mess her fire alarm went off it was it was a disaster so if you want to watch that after this feel free but like she's just trashed the stove trashed it let it get hot Those noodles look so floofy. They are, man. They are. Damn, can anyone see me? I can see your comment. Thank you, Bodega Boys. Hello, Edel. All right. We're just waiting for the pan to heat up. You want a significant amount of oil. Y'all see that? <laughs> I, 
I don't know how she has not burned her place down. I, I really don't. On this, so. so, let it heat up. Hi, Heretic, how are you? Like I said, this is all about technique. And it's three ingredients. Like I said, it's pasta, salt, and eggs. That's all you need. Get some spaghetti, some eggs, and salt. And you got yourself a really good, freaking nutritious meal. That'll fill you up. I don't think I'm going to burn myself. Anyway. She's just going to burn the stove. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. That looks amazing. They really poofed out, didn't they? <laughs> My cupcakes have overflown, but that's okay. That's deliciousness. Day starfish, why does she just smear random eyeshadow all over her face? Looks like Minnie from Drew Carey Show. Yeah, it looks like Minnie and Axl Rose had a baby. Have I ever made spaghetti carbonara? Yes, I have, Laura. I love that. It is delicious. And tell you the truth i probably could make a spin on it tomorrow because i have all this pasta so how about tomorrow i make some some spaghetti carbonara for you guys i think you'll like it my spin only eggs pasta and salt i can't wait to see rev eat it and what he thinks he's gonna love it it's a fabulous meal Nope, not hot enough. It's literally smoking and she's saying it's not hot enough. Okay, all right. So no sauce of any kind. You can add sauce to it. You don't need to. Wait, 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 wait a second. She's making spaghetti pasta, spaghetti pizza, but it will have no sauce on it. Then what are you eating? Noodles with raw eggs that you're going to fry. What the hell is that? Like I said, if you don't have anything, other than these ingredients, you can make a meal. So. Almost. Am I crazy? No, I'm just feeling the heat. I'm feeling it too. Okay. So if I put my hand about three inches on the pan and my hand doesn't move away, it's not hot enough. What? So. No, that's not, that's not how that works. You love innocent licorice too? Awesome. It overflowed, honey. My cherries, they overflowed. It's so beautiful. It's gonna be delicious. It did, look, it overflowed. Oh. But it's delicious looking. I know, even though they overflowed, it still looks amazing. <laughs> Every day is heavenly. I found you from Miss Fucking Nobody on Twitter. I'm so thankful. Oh, thank you very much. Um, wow, thank you so much. Pink looks good on me. Thank you. Bobby. Cigarettes. I'm sorry. I'm going back to lights now. All right. Put that in the pan. Get a spatula and press down. Ah. 
Does she think that this is going to turn into some kind of dough like pizza? <laughs> yeah, that that's not going to work. Basically, what we're waiting for is for all the eggs to get incorporated and, and make a crust on the bottom of the pan. Basically what you're doing. Hi, BBW. How are you? Gorgeous. Garlic would be good in that. Yeah, you can do garlic in it, too. I'm just showing you the very simplest version of this. I don't have a P.O. box yet. I'm working on that. When I when I have enough money to do that, I will I will make a P.O. box. So right now we're just letting the eggs cook on the bottom and form a crust with this. Oh. But along the way, you kind of want to do this around the edge. Just kind of loosen it up a little bit on the sides. Because you don't want it to stick. But you don't want to mess with it too much. You kind of just want to sit and wait. Wow, culinary genius, folks. Raw eggs and spaghetti noodles being fried in oil in a dirty pan. Delicious. You can't wait for a post office that you have goodies for me and Jason. Oh, thank you, Carrie. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Awesome. I've never seen spaghetti fried. This is this is spaghetti pizza. Where is the sauce to make it pizza? Where's the cheese? The one time that you can actually put cheese on something, Shani. Where's the cheese? Where's the basil? Where's the mushrooms? Where's the something to make a pizza? Thank you, Midnight Sun. Am I gonna eat it? Yeah. I've been wanting to have this for quite a while now. Artfully, Corgi, why is she using a, a fish spatula? I don't know. I don't think that she actually knows how to use any of the things that she has in her kitchen. I don't think that she has a lot of utensils to begin with. And the ones that she does have, she doesn't actually know what they're used for. Oh, yeah. See how it's cooking? Yeah. It's so nice. Mary in the chat says, let's see, spaghetti, where'd it go? Spaghetti crust is a thing. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that you know more about this than I do. So how does that work? Do you end up putting sauce on it? Or um if it forms a crust, like what, what are the toppings that you put on top? I'd be interested to know about that. Oh yeah. It's beginning to crust up folks. <clears throat> I hope he finds the baby too. You'll send me a cool apron. Thank you. No, it's not in water. It's literally spaghetti, eggs, and salt and pepper in here right now. And we're, we're, we're cooking it to a point 
where it, it has a crust on the bottom. And then we're going to go and take this plate and put it on top of this and flip it and put it on the other side and get that nice toasty and brown. Mary says, yes, you add toppings like sauce and cheese and whatever you want, but the spaghetti, the crust, but the spaghetti is the crust only. See, that's what I thought. I thought that if you're going to use it as a crust, you have to actually add stuff onto it to make it into a pizza. She's saying that she's not actually going to add anything to it. And that's why I'm kind of confused. <laughs> like, the one time that you could probably add cheese to it and she's not going to do that. But somehow I feel like that she's going to add stuff to it. Like, I just don't see her just eating this by itself. This could be called a, uh, a spaghetti pizza. Or What's up, widow son? How you doing? Or you could also call it a, sp a spaghetti frittata. Why would the why would the house smell bad? Please, God, he will be okay. Please, Jesus, can we heal this little boy and let him be found? Amen. Oh, I've never seen this made without cheese mixed in back with the eggs. Oh, see, I've never heard of this at all. So, but it just kind of common sense tells me that you would think that they would put cheese and sauce on it. I mean, that's kind of why they call it pizza. And thank you, goth unicorn. Thank you. Like I said, don't make fun of this. This is my mother's recipe, okay? She taught me this since I, I've been eating this since I was, since, since forever. Since I've been around in the world, I guess. I've been eating this. I doubt that. And this recipe was taught by her mother. No, no. I don't, I don't think that's true. And that recipe was taught by her mother. Wait until you see the crust on top of it. Mary says too much pasta though. Yeah, I mean, that seems right to me. I think there really is too much pasta in there. I, mean, I don't I don't know how you're gonna be able to cook through that. That's just it's just too much. Um, every day is heavenly says, check Google recipes, they all have cheese. Same with other YouTube creators who made it. It's kind of quiche like sort of. Okay, all right. Yeah, this is definitely not a quiche. <laughs> currently waiting for it to get to this this the color of brown i want it to have a brown crust on it okay well the fries are almost done oh my god that looks so good A family recipe. I love it. Thank you. I love that Rev is in the background like a child playing with his light. Isn't that cute? You see how it can easily slide around in the plate now? That's when you know that it's almost done because the crust has been, uh, been taken and put together. But I want to get it a little bit more toasty or brown before I flip it. Fit and Kirby says, I, I'm listening during my work commute. Please, no one listen to Shani's advice on hormones, makeup, or food. That's very good advice, Fit and Kirby. Don't, don't listen. Don't even listen to me. Don't listen to anybody on YouTube when it comes to medical issues. See your doctor. How is it smelling? Hi, Barbara Shannon. How are you? Okay, it's almost there to what the color I want it. Little Bohemia Rev is in his hostage corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm ready for this flip. 
I know, right? You ready for the flip? It's gonna spill everywhere. It's gonna be nice. Oh, it looks amazing. How many calories in this dish? Well, calculate a pound of spaghetti, five eggs, and then divide it by four. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Time to flip. There we go. Now that's a flip. Again, those fingers that she keeps touching the food with, not been washed for a while now. She just stuck her fingers in the, the banana peppers right here. She keeps dipping her fingers in there and eating out of that. And then she'll touch the food. That's probably why Jason's always having diarrhea and stomach problems. Look at that. Then you wait for the other side. Kind of looks like an omelet. Yeah. So what you want to do here is you want to take your salt and you want to put it on here because it's going to melt into the pasta, kind of like a pretzel. Whoa. That's all you want to do. That was satisfying. Yeah, man. Faith A, did you see the bottom of that pan? Yeah, I did. She is so rough on everything. Like, she just doesn't take care of anything. Doesn't wash it. I mean, it's... That place is trashed. All their stuff is trashed. Ah, here you are. The fries are done. Those are the pizza fries, folks. We got the delicious pizza fries for everyone. Currently, check this out. Still need some more time with the dessert. But check that out. Doesn't that look delicious? The pizza fries. Ooh. Yeah, man. That is so gross. <laughs> that looks disgusting. Yeah, those are chicken patties with sharp cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, turkey pepperoni, a half a jar of Bertoli uh, marinara sauce, and crinkle fries that were frozen. Yeah. Oh, my God. Jason. What? I, what? I just got my money deposited from YouTube. No, I just got my YouTube oh, money. Oh my God. Congratulations, Daddy. Woo! Woo! I just got my YouTube money. Woo! Woo! So, fun fact. Uh, <laughs> so, the Super Chat money that she is getting, uh, she only gets 70% of that because YouTube takes their 30%. And then they also take out taxes. In fact... I got an email. Everybody gets an email today. I guess I guess everybody got an email today talking about how they were reminding us that they were taking out taxes before they send the money. So 
here's what's going to happen. She's going to get, she's going to look at the number and she's going to be disappointed because it's going to be less than what she was expecting. So probably going to get a rage stream tomorrow about it. Um, also, the reason why she's getting a lot more this month is because it's all the stuff that she got last month when she first got monetized. She hasn't had a lot of super chats this month, so her check next month is going to be considerably lower. Again, YouTube is never going to pay your rent, so you still have to get a job. Shani, get a job. Thank you. It's already spent. Yay! She already spent it? Oh boy. Well, after my show, I ate lots of my meat. After my show, I'll cash out. Thank you. You're amazing girls. Mr. Rockwell, he eats me something of 25 bucks, but all I need is eight. That's all I need. True. You want the spaghetti pizza to be the same as the top? Shani's McDonald's Wi-Fi says she said she spent it on bills, LOL. Um, I don't know how she did that because if she didn't get the money until just now, I don't know how she paid her bills. So, I mean, let's just be real. She admitted that G-Man is giving her money and G-Man is paying their bills, some of them. So... I have a feeling that they're going to spend a lot of this on weed and more food for herself. The same color, the same richness. Oh, God, look at this. This looks incredible. Or you could give me my uh, my iPhone upstairs. I'll get you. Oh wait, this is the iPhone. Give me the the other phone. The other phone. And I'll cash out you. Right? Oh my God. Yeah, a little bit. Pizza. The pizza fries look good. Janice Costello, uh, she's, she had it added up in her head. So when she gets all that money taken out, it's probably not going to be enough. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, math is hard for her. Uh, no shade. It's just that we have things called calculators that are built into our phone. It's an amazing invention. So I don't think that she actually did that. Um, I have a feeling that her bills are way higher than anything she would have gotten from YouTube. So it's going to be one of those things where we're going to have to wait and see because the truth always eventually comes out because she'll put on a, a front on YouTube and be like, oh, it's so amazing. I'm rich now because I got all this money. And then, you know, a week later, she's crying about how she got, you know, a hundred bucks. So we'll see. Like I said, this is called a spaghetti pizza or how you want to call it, a spaghetti frittata. Y'all taking care of each other. I know. Mommy makes me food. You're amazing, girl. I love you. You're amazing. I can't believe it's already spent, though. I know, but hey, you're paying bills, though. It's very important. You won't have a show if we don't pay her. Oh. They won't have a show unless they pay for the internet. Are you kidding me? Why is this, whatever this is, a priority over the kids, over, I don't know, paying rent? Their priorities are so, so fucked up. All right. Our Azriel for $2 super chat. They live beyond their means. That's the hardest part. Yeah. 
even before they should have never gotten a townhome for $3,000 a month. That should have never been even an option because I don't care how much money you have. You don't just frivolously spend your money. You still need to be smart about your money, whether you have a lot or a little. And they can put up, again, they're going to put up a big front like, oh, they got this. The, the reality is they're getting evicted within 30 days. Like they're out. They're going to be sued for damages. It's not going to be pretty. They're going to end up in a homeless shelter. That's the reality of things because they're still refusing to get a job so they could maybe downsize into something else. So it's going to be wild. There you go, honey. Your money has been sent. All right. Now I'm going to have to pay my bills, but that's okay. You're welcome. You're amazing, girl. You got your 25? Because you said 25 from Rockwell for your cigarette oh, funds. Well, that's what he said, yeah. So I gave you 25. Thank you. You're me. You're me. I made you. All right. This is done, folks. This is done. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm almost afraid what this is going to look like. Is the spaghetti pizza, folks? I'm gonna let this sit for a moment. David Anthony for a five dollar super chat. They only they make only enough online to stay online, so they make nothing. It, exactly, they're actually in the hole. Like I don't I don't think um, everybody realizes this, but they are overdrawn on their checking accounts. They are like minus seven hundred dollars on their PayPal account. They're minus a lot of money in all of their accounts. Like they're, they're like in the negatives now. <laughs> they, they need to get a job. That's what they need to do. Cause I want it to, you need to let it sit for about five to 10 minutes so it can get all incorporated and stuff. But we can look at these pizza nachos while you're waiting. And these overflowed, but they're still delicious looking. Okay, just picture it if it was in a casserole pan. But this is the dessert. I just have to cut it away. But. move this to a place like so so you guys can partake in the dessert wow okay that looks so yummy Look at that looks burnt you see how it's dark around the edges I know some people like some things that are like a little burnt a little bit, but for me, when I'm eating like desserts, if any part of it is burnt, it ruins the whole thing for me. I just, I don't want to eat it at all. Look at that. 
It tastes so good. It's like a cookie. Mmm. It seriously tastes like sugar cookies. Mm. So good. So good. I really want to cut, though, this spaghetti pizza for you guys so you guys can see. So I guess she's really not putting sauce on it. Wow. Okay. The wonderful goodness. Now. Let's put salt on this too, since it's hot, on that side. Now, you can have this with spaghetti sauce if you want to. You can have it with some Parmesan on top, which that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put some Parmesan on top of this and then cut it. But you kinda wanna let it set a little bit with the, with the salt and the parm so it kind of melts in but if you don't have the parm if you don't have the pasta sauce and all you have is some eggs and spaghetti you can even do this with macaroni if you don't have it just wean it this is amazing just wean it wean it mm. Mm. Well, that is exactly how I remember. And you want to put a significant amount of salt. Like I said, it's like a pretzel. You know, there's not much there. So fat, uh, fit and curvy. All right. Whose food are you eating? Whose food are you eating? Shani, Cobes or Wern? Oh my gosh. So Shani's cooking. Cobes cooking or Lucas Werner's cooking? Ah, uh, is there an option for me to go hungry? Because that I would like to pick that. Um, I don't know, maybe Cobes. I'd probably pick Cobes. Um, because at least the Doritos will be edible because you know he's gonna put that in there. That's what's up. Um, yeah, Wern, she cooks like the Wern, actually. <laughs> the Wern mixes weird things together, if you think about it. They do cook a lot alike. And uh, she will also be living like him, too, because he lives at a homeless shelter. You want to do it that way. Chrissy for $20 super chat. RIP to that stove. Yes. Uh, yeah. And RIP to their security deposit as well. Because that's trashed. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to plate Jason's food up for him. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed, but right here is supposed to be countertop, and they broke that too. So they literally broke off a chunk of the granite countertop. Yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. And I can't even imagine how scratched up those wood floors are underneath that chair. You know. Like so, there's the fries with the chip patty. And then you just cut it like a pizza. What? And trust me, it should hold. What? Guess who uh, says Rev showed the floor in one of his videos. I will get the screenshot and send it to you. Okay, yes, please send that to me. 
that would be very interesting to see what the floors look like. And that's how it looks when you cut it up. You see the egg in it? Doesn't that look bomb? That looks so bomb. This is such a good meal. Flavor Town. It's so delicious. It's so, it's like, it's good for you too. Mmm. And it's a nice snack. It's a nice snack to have. How does it taste like? It smells like a frittata. How many of y'all would actually eat that? Because y'all saw how it was made, too. Mmm. Delicious. It smells like an amazing frittata, actually. You know, really didn't want to see that. Wow. Thank you, Wack Attack. And then you take the broccoli, put that right there for him. Make the man happy with some broccoli and some pizza fries with some spaghetti pizza. Yummy. Dragnut Silvis for $2 super chat. More shots of her arm fat. Can't get enough of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Wilson, for a $2 super, super chat. No, 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 no. Stop it, Shani. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for you, Wilson, because you actually like run a, a restaurant. So you're probably just screaming at your screen right now. How could you not love this? That is a beautiful meal. And it's nutritious and it's yummy and it's super. Uh, it's not nutritious at all. They, they, do they have renter's insurance? My state requires it. I have no idea. Um, I don't, I'm not from Colorado, so I have no idea what is required there. But yeah, wow. Knowing them, if it's not required, they probably didn't get it. Um, and if they were required to get it, I don't know if there would be anyone to enforce it. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Super cheap for you guys. So come try the three ingredient spaghetti pizza, folks. I guarantee. Hello, sunshine. $2 super chat. Super chat. PSA, drugs are bad, okay? Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday to you. You won't regret it. It's so good. See you guys. Stay tuned for Jason420 Avocado. He gonna be trying our food out. He gonna be trying it out. Again, it's Jason Avocado 420 And uh, stay tuned. Oh, yeah, I got a plate the dessert, too. He's going to be having that, too. You've got your carbs, your protein, and your veggies. Exactly. It's really easy. It's simple. Hey, guys, if you want to support me, please go to Cash App and go to Shani, the number four, not F-O-R, but the number four, Christ. And uh, also, if you would like to support me, you could become a member of my channel. Another way how to support me, the easiest way. Just thumbs up it and subscribe to me. Anyway, peace and mirror not the guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Bye. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to tell y'all what to do with your money, but please don't give them money. <laughs> if, if you're asking for, for my advice, please don't, don't do that. Because they're going to spend it on weed and they're not going to actually spend it on paying bills. Um, so Jules is still not here. Bad goal, Jules. You're not here yet. Um, that's okay. Because we will play something else. 
<clears throat> so how many of y'all would actually eat that though? Would you, would you eat it for sure? <laughs> I would not eat that at all. So let's see. So we're going to watch Shani's meltdown from yesterday that some people have not seen. And it was pretty epic. It was pretty epic. Kind of hard when you won't leave someone alone. When you won't let them fucking grow. When you just keep them in the fucking past. You think someone will never grow from that if you actually cared for me, if you actually loved with me, if you actually fucking cared, if you were actually a human being, you would leave me alone and let me live my fucking life. That's what it is. You get a job. All you guys keep saying get a job and you're here all fucking day. Where are your fucking jobs? Why are you constantly online, fuckers? Where are your fucking jobs? Yikes. Uh, David Anthony, $2 super shot. Both arms need a bra. Yeah. The Mud Brooker, $5 super chat. Give me some money instead. My recipes are edible and filmed under reasonably sanitary conditions. Yes. The Mud Brooker has an amazing channel where he, he works with like cast iron skillets. Please put your channel in the description. He's got a really cool channel where he actually cooks real food. It looks like none of you have fucking jobs because your job is 100% trying to harass me, trying to tear me down. That's what it is. That's your job is to tear me down, to treat me like shit, to try to get me to commit suicide. That's what you guys do. Cruel fucking human beings you are. Cruel fucking human beings who antagonize and 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 antagonize. Oh, let's get them fired from their jobs. By the way, I'm totally remixing that in a song. Some of you have been asking me about doing uh, another music video. I'm actually working on a music video right now. It's been a while since I've made one, but this stream right here has so many things that she says. That's going to be amazing. So I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know when it's going to come out, but I am definitely going to be using that in a song in the future. So they don't have anything. And then we can go and say, get a job constantly, even though we get them fired. Nobody wants me to die. Bullshit. If you wanted me to live, you'd help me be successful. You wouldn't be tearing me down over everything. I try to make dinner for my family, and the whole time you're tearing me down. I try to play games on the internet. The whole time you're trying to tear me down. And then you act like you're fucking concerned. You're not. You're not. You don't say any nice, positive things to me. You don't say anything good or edifying at all. You're all fucking phonies. You're all dead inside. You're all dead man's bones. And you're all going to burn in the lake of fire for what you're doing to people. Because it's not only me you do this to. It's not only me. So, <laughs> so she'll get online and ask people for advice because she apparently can't adult herself at 37 years old. So we have to adult for her by giving her advice because she's saying, you guys should be giving me advice on how I could solve my problems. Well, we give her advice and that is stop spending money and get a job. And then this is what she says. It's ridiculous. David Anthony for $5 super chat. YouTube pays $3,000 a month to attack Shani. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, they're targeted individuals. Mm -hmm. Little Bohemia for $5 super chat. Unpopular and technically unqualified opinion, but I actually think she's histrionic more than borderline or possibly both. I mean, she actually posted um, a copy of her um, psyche vow that she got when she was doing her I will not beat my husband classes when she was like doing court 
ordered group therapy. And she actually posted the, um, the results of that on her community tab. And there are people that have screenshots of it. I have it somewhere. And if you looked at all the things that they said that, you know, she was exhibiting borderline was like a footnote at the bottom. So even, even now they're still saying that she does not, she doesn't have borderline. So, yeah. It's not only me. Do you know how fucking discouraging it is when you're getting, trying to get a job and trying to do something and these people get you fired? Um, nobody's getting them fired. Jason's never worked a job in his life. And she has not had a job since 2017 when she was living with her parents. And that job, she was only there for two weeks because she was streaming on YouTube instead of actually doing her job. And her boss caught her and fired her. So I don't know what she's talking about. Do you understand how terrible that is? How hopeless you feel. How furious it is. And I'm told to be quiet about it. I'm told to be quiet that these people get me fired. <laughs> is this what you want? Is that you have it? <laughs> A woman has done everything in her fucking power. To fucking feed her family. And I can't because you won't let me. Because you keep getting me fired. Stop saying get a job. I'm trying. <laughs> you guys are so fucking cruel. <laughs> You're so fucking cruel. You don't love you don't love, you don't take care of your fellow man. All you do is make fun of them and tear them down. That's what you do to your fellow man. You don't try to help them out, even though they've helped you out. You tell them they're scum of the earth. You say, get a job. You don't help. You don't say, I, I feel sorry for you. You don't say, I pray for you. You don't say, you can do this. All you do is you say uh, you're destructive and I'm not. I'm doing everything in my power to support me. Yeah, so she's totally not destructive, but she does that. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Fun times. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? <clears throat> okay, so... Um, let's see. I, I'm going to go ahead and play the um, the Hannah video. Um, I, I think Jules may have like uh, had a long day at work or maybe she's still coming home. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and play it. Um, this is this is interesting because the first video I'm going to play is something that she posted today. And then the she claims that no one has proof of her doing what she says. Uh, for a very, very, very long time. And then I'm going to show the proof that she's a liar. So I'm going to play this first. <clears throat> this is Marble Mouth. Is fat Yoshi, um, who's making lies up and saying how Shani's going to find a video of you talking crap on her. Yeah, so already she's talking about Fat Yoshi, so we know she's talking about Jules. Um, there's no recent videos of me saying anything bad about Shani. Hear that? There's no recent videos of her talking bad about Shani. Me and Shani had a feud a long time ago, and we both made videos towards each other. So, again, she says... 
that she made YouTube videos against Shani a very long time ago, but hasn't since. Really? Um, if Shani's well aware of my stuff, I'm well aware of her stuff. I don't talk to any of you guys, and I don't talk bad about her. So, um, prove it, you know? I'd like to see it. I'd like to see this evidence for me talking bad about somebody who I care about. So I don't talk bad about her, but you're obsessed with her. And people in your group are the reason why I got off of this platform. Because I am... I don't want to be exposed to trash. And you guys are all trash. You guys just obsess over people. Holy spackle, who the hell is this? This is Marble Mouth, Hannah Stout, who decided to insert herself once again by bringing up people's names. That have nothing to do with you. You get so emotional over people that are not e even in your life. It's weird and it's gross and... Uh, I don't want to be a part of the community. I don't want to be part of any community. Um, but I'm going to support Shani and Rev. And, you know, I hope the best for them. And they know that. I actually talk to them. They know how I feel. So show your evidence. Because I know you and that freaking piece of floating bread that you hang out with. You guys never show receipts. You just make up claims without evidence. Oh, that floating piece of bread that she hangs out with. Never shows evidence. Wow. Okay. Our Azriel $2 super chat. Can't understand her until she chews her food. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. This is very interesting. So apparently I never, ever show receipts. Okay. Like I said, evidence is key and you never have any. Evidence is key and you never have any. Okay. Bye. Bye. Dummies. Bye, Videos. dummies. Bye. Okay. So, evidence is key, folks. And this is why you don't lie. Because then you forget what you lie about. <clears throat> so, that video was from this afternoon. And she claimed in that video, like you just heard, that she hasn't posted something in a very, very long time. And that since then she and Shani have made up and she's been, you know, Shani supporter and everything's all good. Well, I have a video here that she posted February 18th, 2021, just three months ago. Because it seems like she forgot that when uh, Shani and Neg started fighting, Hannah took sides, and Hannah took Neg's sides. So let's see what uh, little Miss Hannah said three months ago about Shani when she was supposed to be Shani's friend. My bad. Hold on. Let me share a screen. That was my bad. Hey guys, um, I want to make just a little quick video. <laughs> I always say that. Um, well, I noticed that Shani, she's uh, accusing Negs of being obsessed with her. And, you know, he's made like, I think like two videos about her. She's made like five. <laughs> and like Rev has made videos. And I noticed that like anytime she has a problem with like a male it's always that she thinks they want to bang her. It's always like, cause she, and she's real flirtatious with people too. Um, she was like that with G-Man, you know, she was always flirting with him and, and trying to get him to be her boyfriend. She was really flirty with Dragnaught and even flirtatious with Dragnaught's wife. And she's, um, pretty flirtatious with Negs now. And I feel like she has a thing for him. I feel like she, um, you know, gets, like, little crushes on people here. And then she thinks that they want to bang her or whatever. Like, they think she's, like, repulsive, you know? <laughs> she's got a very, like, rapey kind of behavior. Did you hear that? She has a lot of rapey behaviors. Try again, Hannah Stout. Um... I don't know, I just thought that was funny. I just thought I'd point it out, you know. They're so obsessed with me, and it's always, like, 
I think you're the obsessed one. <laughs> He's done this a lot. It's, it's just uh, typical shanty behavior. All right, bye, guys. Wow. Hmm. Seems like I produce the proof and you are a liar. So anyway, the mukbang is up. And let's see. Oh, this should be fun. <laughs> Here's Jason's mukbang. Avocados for your avocados. Coming at you with another shanty for Christ mukbang, and it's 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 real good, folks. This is like just it's the way it's meant to be. We have what you would what shanty coins spaghetti pizza, which he coins it, I believe, and then we got pizza not pizza fries that have a chick patty there, and we have cheese. Cheddar broccoli, I guess it's cheddar broccoli, so we're digging in. Absolutely. Yes, Rickzilla, he's wearing a different shirt. Applause in the chat for Rev actually changing his shirt. Way to go. Have to try this first. This is the spaghetti pizza. And yes, it's beautiful looking. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's their fire alarm going off again. I'm not sure what those what that sound is. Mmm. you made this like two years ago, Shani? Yeah. Man, I would think I would remember this. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Pizza fries. I watermelon. Baby girls want want some food. <laughs> mm. Well, at least we know uh, watermelon. The cat is still alive, and yes, they named their black cat watermelon. Mm. Oh, that's right. Sounds like they left the fridge open. Mine makes that same sound. Yes. I think they did leave the fridge open. That's what that sound is. Okay. And if you want the recipe and see Shani make uh, just really awesome meal, go to Shani for Christ. Just put in Shani for Christ, and she's pretty much the first channel, thank God, that popped up. Mm. Hi, watermelon. Lauren, for a $2 super sticker, thank you very much, Lauren. I appreciate that. Um, every day is heavenly. Do you know if Jason has visited a doctor at all since going through alcohol withdrawal? Um, I don't know for sure, but based on what they've talked about in the last two or three years, I don't think so. Um, trying to think, I think he tells one story where he ended up in the hospital for something, but I'm not exactly sure. He most certainly has not been to the doctor all of 2020 or 2021 so far, because he has been pretty vocal about not wanting to go to the doctor, um, 
he just doesn't want to go. He's he's a very paranoid person. He's a girl. And she's cute. Mmm. Sorry, I'm not going to drink a meal. Oh, Jenny, it's fine. I'm honestly just eating the meal and enjoying it. This is like a wholesome feeling food. Meal. Got all the food groups here. Except physical meat, but I don't want it. <laughs> Does he know that there's pepperoni in that? Like turkey pepperoni? <laughs> but he doesn't eat meat, folks. He doesn't eat meat. I'd rather um, pea protein like this. Morning star patty. It looks Very gross. Yummy. Gross. But didn't they have COVID? Wouldn't they have needed to see a doctor? Yeah, they never had COVID. Um, back in 2020, she was claiming that she had um, actually, you know what? And they did go to a, like a walk-in clinic and they tested her and said that she had the flu and they gave her stuff. And within like three days, she was back to normal. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. You guys got to try the pizza fry recipe. That's ingenious, in my opinion. Lord. Mm. Mm. This is very unique. <laughs> very different. There's no egg taste. Like it doesn't have the flavor of an omelet. Oh. Yeah, he does look mad. Uh, Paradise Lost, he's looking a little mad. He looks annoyed. So I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I mean, I can, I can guess, but he looks really annoyed. Mm. Mm. Science Geek uh, 2587, is that the stolen lanyard on the table? Yep. That's the lanyard. And that's, well, that's the key fobs that they say were stolen by all of us. <laughs> I, I guess that's just not a thing anymore. They're just not going to talk about it anymore, apparently. For some reason, it's making me think of a quiche a bit. It's just a lot drier than a quiche, you know. Well, 
Widow's son, he eats like that. It's the only meal he gets in a day. <laughs> probably. They spend so much money. Uh, this is probably the only meal he gets a day. Like, they get $800 in EBT for their groceries every month. And she had already spent all of that by the 18th. <laughs> so, yeah. I think she's eating a lot more than he is. Mm. 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 So gross. Really good. So gross. Oh. Oh my goodness. Did she just roll that chair all the way over there? She could have walked. She could have walked. Like that kind of laziness is why she is the size that she is. Little did you know you placed that almost perfectly on the table to be presented to the audience. Wow. Uh. Ew. Oh. David Anthony, $5 super chat. If Shani cooked at the start of this train wreck of a relationship, she would have a lot of money left today instead of DoorDash and eating out. I mean, you would think so. I mean, I certainly thought so before I saw her cook, but she buys so much food and makes portions that are so ridiculously large. She's wasting more or just the same amount that she would have bought in DoorDash, I think. So I don't know. I think she just needs to not have such large portion sizes. I think that's a huge problem. Mm. Mm. Oh, I hate when he does that. Mm. Mm. That, folks, is so different. But, man, it's delicious. Let me finish play for you. All right. We're coming around the bend for dessert. And this is, what is this, Shin? Oh. The dessert. The dessert? Mm hmm. Uh, cherry. I would say cherry crumble. Cherry crumble, okay. <laughs> cherry crumble. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not that. It's not that at all. Looks good. Cherry crumble. <laughs> Sorry. Ew. Holy Spackle, four ninety nine super chat. Toast is the best. 
Also, Hannah Stout, stop being trash. What you said was far worse than anything I've ever said to Shannonopolis. Uh, yeah. Um, that's why I played that video. Because if she wants to play with me and claim that she didn't do the things that she says, and then also claim that I'm lying about it, mm -mm. I keep receipts. I don't say things that I don't already have a video to back it up with. If you watch my videos, I don't put things in my videos unless I actually have something to show to prove that what I'm saying is correct. A lot of my videos, I don't even talk in my videos sometimes. So yeah, Hannah Stout, that was, uh, that was completely fucked up. You should be ashamed of yourself. And it's clear that you just want to be friends with Shani now because Shani's making money. But you know what? Shani deserves you. Okay, when you do the song on mode like this, it's like you're eating, it's like you're eating, um, man, it's so hard to describe, uh, it's like you're eating fresh, throw up, like, A little bit underdone sugar cookies smashed together with cherry pie filling with like the best vanilla ice cream you could imagine, which which I believe I don't know the brand of ice cream, can't remember, but wow. This is just literally oh my god, Shannon. Aries 106, I think Hannah wants to be friends with Shani because she got a lot of pushback from anti-Shani people. Probably. I mean, at this point, I don't really care what her motivations are. Um, I just don't understand why she keeps bringing my name up. And now she's bringing Joel's name up too. And it's like, why? I don't make videos about you. I don't talk about you. I don't even think about you. And yet you are continuously bringing my name up. And then you're going to claim that I'm, I'm a liar and that I don't ever show proof of anything. So try again. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of those desserts that like, it's like simple, but man, you could win an award with it. I believe. Oh God. It's just, like the idea for me I think would be to literally just melt ice cream and drizzle it over this like a sauce oh my god This is making me extremely reclaimed in a good way. Might Whatever happened to how he can't eat sugar anymore? I know, right? <laughs> they make so many claims at this point. It's just, it's just funny. You can't really believe anything they say. They can't eat gluten. They can't eat sugar. They only eat vegetables. They can't eat meat. And what did he eat in this meal? He ate turkey, uh, pepperoni, a ton of gluten and sugar. <laughs> Matai would definitely appreciate this shirt. Mike Matai, sorry. So good. Our Azriel for two dollars super, super chat. Hannah Sound ver version of G Man for you and Jules. I'm not exactly sure what you were trying to say there. Hannah Sound version of of G Man for you and Jules. 
Um, David Anthony for a $5 super chat. I'll pay Rev $100 if he cooks a real meal that I picked from a real cookbook and then eats it on live stream. He has to do it himself, no help. I mean, yeah, I think that if he did that, he probably would not have as many intestinal issues because especially if he, you know, washed his hands and made sure that what he was cooking with was also clean. So, Shani and I kind of uh, rearranged stuff for the studio stuff. So I was able to get my hands on Resident Evil Village. And um, I put it on the hardest difficulty, which was probably stupid. But the controls are... Uh, Ew, he picked his nose. I don't know why he does that. And you know if he picks it on a live stream... You know he's doing it when the camera's not on. Not very happy with the responsiveness on the controls, to be honest. But. Yeah, our Azriel, um, if you made a typo or you meant to say something else, or maybe I'm just being dumb, but. Go ahead and, and write your comment in, in the chat. You don't have to super chat me again. I'll, I'll read your comment um, if I would, like, misunderstood you. Oh, look who's here, folks. What's yeah. up? Sorry it took what? me so long. I was working. Oh, you such big adult, you. I know, right? I'm Me being a fucking adult, right? I know you're pretty much probably done with the stream, but... Yeah, I I went over the Hannah stuff already because I thought that you weren't going to be able no, to no, make no, it. No, that's completely okay. okay. I I was going to message you, but then I had really shitty like cell service, so, and I was driving too. I was like, "Fuck it." It's all good. So he's doing the mukbang. I don't know if you saw what she cooked. It was pretty horrendous. Pizza spaghetti, right? Yeah, that's what she called it. I haven't I haven't watched it yet. I'm. <laughs> I'll have to rewatch. I'll have to watch it later. Yeah. I'm going to get used to it uh, and then I'll probably start streaming it. But it is not easy on the difficulty I put it on. Oh. Sorry, but. Um, pause it really quick. Jello, I'll quit my job for you. I'll definitely quit my job for you. <laughs> oh, by the way, Jello Shots, uh, Shani has been talking about you again today Ooh. in one of her streams. She was talking about you. Oh, she wants a piece of Jello. Mm -hmm. Our Asriel, sorry about that. Always wanting proof and claims, how you say but his never name? Our Asriel. Asriel. God, yeah, I'm so sorry. He comes, he, he sends me a super chat or like a donation. And I'm always afraid to read his name because I always think I'm going to butcher it. So, <laughs> But he says, sorry about that. Always wanting proof and claims, but never show any herself. Sounds like a person tarred for you and Jules. Yeah, I mean, I know that she wants attention. And so I pretty much ignore her. Um, but every once in a while, she'll say something that is just demonstrably false. And today was one of those days where I was like, you know what? I'm just going to show this because it's just dumb. And I'm probably not going to talk about talk about her again for however many months. It tastes folks. It folks. tastes like almost like semi raw sugar cookies. Like it's cuz it is raw sugar cookies. <laughs> she just literally just dumped sugar and flour in a pot and stirred raw egg in there and then added like half a bottle of vanilla. And then she put um, For what? the mix. That's the mixture. And then she put that in um, like muffin pans. And then she put a can of uh, canned cherries on top. That's all it is. Wait, what is he eating though? That's what he was just eating. Like the weird, she called it cherry 
crumble or something. Cherry? Oh, so he ate a dessert, too. Yeah, with ice cream on the side. Oh, shit. <laughs> but they don't eat sugar. They don't eat sugar, folks. <laughs> so, like you can tell that it's cooked thoroughly through, but it's it's fresh enough from the oven that it's like it's almost half cooked. It's so nice. Like a crumble, yeah. A crumble is a lot like it, you know? Like, yeah, that's why Shani said crumble, cherry crumble. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. That's, I mean, that's two finished plates. What do you want? Avocados, her cooking is amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she at first said it was going to be like a like a vanilla or brownie or a white brownie, but it was not. So. Um. Yeah. Um. I was watching her stream earlier, and Shani was talking mad shit about me and Toasty. That, that's not nice, Shani. Don't talk about Toasty and I. Yep. Holy spackle. Also, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry, my headphone cut out for a second. Um, What was I saying? Oh, and she said stuff about... She mentioned I criticized her on, on one of the, you know, streams. It was like, I said, you're not supposed to do something with flour. You're not supposed to do something with flour. She goes, I'm listening to chefs. I'm like, bitch, what do you think I do for a living? Like, yeah. I mean... Yeah. But aren't you like, you know, 16 years old, you know, we're 16, we go to high school together, you know, <laughs> that's what she thinks. Yep, I am 16 years old and my mom still picks me up from school. The Holy Spackle with a $1.99 super chat is Rev wearing pants. I I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Schrodinger's pants. Sh what? Is that how you say that? <laughs> That's funny. Damn. Oh, uh, Quasi Monkey, Monkey, you should tell Jules about the tattoo idea. Yeah, she claims. Wow. And this is in the stream earlier if you want to watch it later. But she claims that she's going to get like, it's essentially like almost $2,000 in tattoos. For what? She wants, she wants to put like all these Bible verses on her legs and arms and her sides. And then she also wants to put like, a blue rose on her wrist or something. I have no idea. And then she wants to put fishnet in between all of them. Um, well, to be quite <laughs> honest, you can probably put uh, maybe eight different languages of the Bible on Shani's body. Still have room left. Like the whole Bible. You can put that's the whole what, scripture on there. That's literally what I said. And you would, she would still have some room left. Don't worry, guys. That's a big canvas, you know. It's, a, it's not a challenge. You know, it gives tattoo artists um, a whole new thing to uh, do their ideas on. Oh, the mother, I said it correctly? See, look at me. <laughs> what did you say? The mud, the mud brooker says that I actually pronounced that word correctly. I probably would butcher it the second time around. Probably. That's, that sounds about me. Damn. I, you know, the, fuck being adult, guys. Look what I fucking... I missed the whole fucking stream. This is bullshit. I'm quitting my <laughs> job. This is fucking ridiculous. Why do I need to pay my bills? I should just be three months behind, four months behind on my fucking rent. Should get my car repoed. Come on. And you need to burn cheese on burn, your yes. on your stove top. Yes, yeah. I will burn cheese. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you suck eggs, Jules. <laughs> Who, I suck eggs. Who said Ooh. that? Charlie Sparkle. You suck eggs, Jules. I do not suck eggs. <laughs> Eggs. What? Yeah, Jules needs uh, new yeah, key Yeah, I need fobs. new key fobs, so yeah, just <laughs> donate to me. I'm going to start a GoFundMe for a tank. Um, I, I know people in uh, the haters, what I forgot what it's called, trolls, haters, naysayers Discord, yeah. um, know that I'm doing a GoFundMe for a tank because I have to take on Shani. 
Um, so if you guys would like to invest in me with the tank, that'd be great. <laughs> the mud broker Jules, a 14 year old, shouldn't be working more than three hours a day. Mm. I know, right? Fucking abusive, right? Yep. Drag, you're naughty. No dicks. No dicks, no eggs. Who gave him a wrench? Yeah, who the fuck gave Drag a wrench? What a psycho. Oh my god. <laughs> Jules' grandma taught her to suck eggs. My grandma doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma's dead, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Uh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Take the wrench from drag and give it to someone deserving like me instead. <laughs> Quasi monkey. I literally gave Quasi monkey a wrench because they guessed my favorite color. Ooh. Wow, okay. Joel is such a noob. How do you come on when the stream is over? Dragon King, kiss my fucking ass. Mm -hmm. You hater. <laughs> no, I will pass on that. Totally pass on that. But during the stream, she said that um, she's like, oh, I got my YouTube money. Ugh. And then she posted on her community tab that she has $10 left in her checking account. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I missed that. What what happened? Yeah. She during the stream, she freaked out and claimed that she had gotten her YouTube money. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling that it was not as quite as much as she thought because, mm -hmm. I mean, they got to take taxes out and stuff like that. And so it basically took all of it. And she put a, a something on her community tab saying that she only got ten dollars left for like her in her checking Damn. account. Damn. Yeah, I just got paid <laughs> on Thursday, and I still have money left over. <laughs> I paid all my bills. <laughs> it's it's nice to have a full time job. <laughs> yeah, Drag says she got about four hundred dollars. I did the math last night. Yeah, that's what I thought she was going to get because she was saying that she was going to get six hundred. So she thought she was going to be able to pay uh, the internet bill and I think the light bill and then have like $200 left over. And that's, that's not how math works because YouTube gets their cut and then taxes. So you get what's after that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sucks to suck, Shannon. Sucks to fucking suck. Can't yeah, really. I mean, you could get a job. That That's an option, you know, where you could actually make a salary or get an actual paycheck that's more than $400 for a whole month. Ooh, this overtime page, I'm, overtime paycheck's about to hit different. Ooh, love that for me. <laughs> David Anthony, $5 Super Chat. What should I do with my wrench so far? I've only used it to scratch hard to reach places. Well, I mean, do you? Sounds like you've got it under control. Drag says uh, 563.30 equals you to cut. Yeah. Yeah. Because 30% out of what she got. So that makes that makes sense. But, um, but yeah, she's always talking about, oh, I can't work. I can't drive. You know how many people work from home, especially now in 2020, because of what it is right now, there's a lot of jobs that are working people from home on top of the jobs like call centers and customer service and various things like that, that were already working from home. So there really isn't any excuse. Why is he not working? Like he, he wants to be like, you know, internet tough guy. Go get your ass a job. Go get a job. Yeah, the Holy Spackle says she works from home. Lola Bohemia says she works from home. Yep. I can't That's work from home. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't honestly, though, I think I could not work from home because I am very, if I'm in my house, I'm going to be lazy. Yeah, I get that. It depends there's, on there's... what you're doing, though. Mm -hmm. 
Whereas a lot of people, like the way that my job works is I go in some days and other days I'm home working. So it's kind of a hybrid. And that started because, because of COVID. And it just kind of continued doing that because it just seemed like it was, it's more proficient that way, I think. So, I mean, <clears throat> there's a lot of, there's a lot of options for working, um, especially people that, you know, don't have a car or don't, you know, can't drive. Back in the day when um, when I was working like my first jobs, I didn't have a car. I didn't have money. So I made sure that whatever apartment that I lived in was in walking distance of jobs and I would walk to work. And then and you, you got to do what you got to do sometimes, you know. Damn, how did you walk to work being 600 pounds? I know, right? Jesus. Especially since I'm a piece of bread with no legs. Your floating piece of toast? Burn. That's right. I'm oh, I'm I'm a floater. I float around. Look here, you fat Yoshi. <laughs> Look here, you fat Yoshi. What's going on, Marble Mouth? Hey guys, look at me talking clearly. Wow. <laughs> and I can't relate. Do 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 do. Burnt toast is thick, by the way. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm 800 pounds. Shit. I'm 800 pounds. I'm 800 pounds. Yep. I use a, a voice module. Who Who's it that said that? Was it Rev or G Man? I forget who said Ew, that. I, we... I feel like it would have been G Man. Maybe both of them. I don't know. There was one of them that said that we were using some kind of fancy software to speak the way that we do. And that our real voice is like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I definitely heard him just open a soda can. It was very relaxing. Yeah, that was my husband. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Samar. Yep. When I did that fucking quads, he goes, she's, she's cocking a handgun. I'm like, totally. 100% <laughs> is what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, burnt toast and jewels are hot as fuck. Facts. Facts. There's toast and there's Texas toast. Ooh. Ooh. I, oh. I enjoy Texas toast. Okay. Oh, have you ever been to Sunny's before? Mm-mm. Okay, so Sunny's is kind of dying out at this point, but it's a barbecue chain, barbecue place. And they have toast there. Oh, so fucking good. It's like kind of like Texas toast. It's delicious. Texas toast is good. It's very thick. 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 Jules is a cat lady. And what the fuck is the problem with that drag? Huh? Mm hmm. Jules You're is definitely oh, a cat man, lady. Oh, man. I was going to say something fucked, but I think they would get mad at me for saying it. <laughs> you over here collecting fucking termites, my dude. Oop. Oop. Fuck being the dragon king, the termite king. <laughs> Damn, roasted. When are you and Rev eloping? Um, never. Oh, is the Geek Room live? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, guys. Um, can one of my mods post the link to that stream in the chat? If you don't Thank post you. it, then you're going to get beat later. I will beat you with that wrench. <laughs> he laughed at it. Okay, Jack. <laughs> I'm glad that you laughed at that because I felt like fucked up for saying that. Uh... Let me see if I can grab the link. One second. These mods are fucking lazy. They probably what did Rob say? He said, um... I forgot when he unmodded somebody. Yeah, draggy bomb slink. So this is the link to uh, TGR stream right now. We need Please click on that. Let's go on the drunken peasants. What? Rick, are you okay? Why? I don't know. I barely even know who that is. Same. I mean, I know who they are, but I don't watch. No disrespect. Anything. No disrespect. I'm just saying. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end it now. Uh, please click the link that I just posted in the chat. That is um, uh, the Geek Room stream that's streaming right now. Dragon King. Sorry, you said you're sorry I'm driving. Well, that's no excuse. You're fired. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Thank you so much for everybody who donated. Thank you for uh, the awesome, like, chat today. That was really fun. And I will...